Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would try to experiment with transferring some of my cacti, succulents, and sansevieria to Lekka. Some of these plants that I have have been in soil for a couple of years now. So what actually gave me the inspiration to film this video is saving my zebra wart succulent. Propagated one of the babies in my prop box video. But today we're transferring this entire plant into Lekka because I feel like it's declining and this is one of my longest succulents so I really want to try to save it. Also going to be transferring this finally. So this is a Cylindrica sensevaria and when I got it, it only had this star right here in the back. This one right here, this individual plant. And this baby right here grew and it's really loose. So we're actually going to be removing the pup and we're going to be transferring this entire plant to Lekka. I'm kind of nervous because this is one of my longest and favorite plants, so I just really hope it does well. The next plant we're going to be transferring to Lekka today is my aloe, just a wild looking plant. I don't know what her deal is. And then I have two cacti. I don't know what kind this is, but it looks like it's losing color at the top and I only watered it once since I got it. One I think is a, it's not a blue torch cactus, it's a blue something cactus. I think it's a blue myrtle cactus. This one has spikes on it and every time I go to do anything with it, I get splinters, so I'm scared. So if you're interested in seeing me transfer a bunch of plants that don't like water into a hydroponic system or a semi-hydroponic system, just keep watching. Um, I honestly don't rinse off roots in my sink anymore. So I'm gonna bring all of these plants out to the garden. I'm not taking you guys with me this time because it's just gonna be a series of me screaming and running from bugs and my grandfather asking me what the hell is wrong with me. So with that being said, I'll be right back. One eternity later. That literally took like an hour. So these are all of the cuttings that I have. I think there's five plants in here total. I noticed when I was, it's dirt on here. When I was unpotting my aloe, it was definitely rotting. Like, ew. Disgusting. So I'm gonna try to propagate that. I'm not gonna move it to Lekka. This is just gonna go on that napkin. I have two of these zebra wart succulent. I think I'm gonna put them both in this round jar. I know succulents like to be more snug. So we have one here. I'm gonna stick this little guy on the side like that and back fill. So this is the first transfer. I'm very happy with that. Excited to move forward. Back fill of April. <laughs> I always get so close. Let's do this big guy. So then we have my Cylindrica Starfish Sansevieria. But I do have to break this little guy off, so we're gonna do that. We need to make sure roots are attached. That's the only root that was attached, but it's okay, right? Okay. We're gonna put this guy right back in his home. I'm hoping he gives me more babies because he had a whole teenager on me. How cute! He's back to his normal state. He doesn't have a huge baby hanging off of him anymore. This is so cute. So something I'm not going to do with these plants is give them a reservoir, meaning I'm not gonna let water sit inside of these plants. I'm probably just going to do the shower method where I just rinse the roots every week that they get a little bit of water. These plants that I'm potting up today in Tuleka, I literally don't water them, like not even once a month sometimes. Besides this new guy that I just got, I watered him once and he looks like I totally screwed him up. But other than that, the rest of the succulents and sensevaria and cacti that I have, I have watered probably once every three or four weeks and I've been fine. So I don't feel the need to have these sitting in water, you know? Would you like to go? Would you like to go in here? Would you look cute in here? Let's see. Is that cuter? I think that's cuter. Yeah, that's cuter. How freaking adorable is this? Every time I move my plants to Lekka, especially ones that I'm not really into at the time or liking, it makes me look at the plant in a whole different way. Usually I'm putting it in a different pot, but even without a different pot, like this plant. Oh, you're wobbly, huh, sir? I can't do anything about that. He's gonna have to take root. Even when it's the same pot, like it just looks upgraded. It doesn't look dirty. 
We got a nice shower when I was in the garden, you know? Let's move the baby. We're gonna put the baby. Not the baby. Oh, this is cute. How freaking adorable. I love this plant. It's so pretty. Last plant that I have is that blue cactus. And I'm scared to touch this one because this is the one that always gives me splinters. Don't even know if that was a fungus gnat or a piece of dust, but we swat everything in this house. <gasps> Yay, he's not crooked. Well, he's not that crooked anymore because he was slanted in his dirt pot. Dirt pot. <laughs> Dirt pot, dirt pot. Oh my God. I mean, this one's a little unwell, but hopefully she'll be fine. But these are so cute. You can't tell me they're not. So that does bring me to the end of today's video. I'm so happy to have all of my succulent, well, not all of them. I still have a few more plants that I wanna put into LECA. I'm really excited to have these plants in LECA now. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. And until my next one, bye.